Is this the boat we're gonna be taking? This makeshift raft made out of wooden planks and oil drums? Where's the oar? Are you gonna be steering us? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself. Founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. My orders are to wait here until you're ready to make the trip. Are we ready to make the trip, everybody? I, I don't know about you, Valius, but I'm feeling a bit nervous. I imagine you might be feeling more nervous, considering your history. But, let's get it done. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. Three hours later. Plenty of crucifixes. Some of them are occupied by skeletons. Now, I guess if you don't have any fresh bodies to put on the crucifixes, clearing them off isn't a pressing concern. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. Yes, mate. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. Is it dangerous to trade with the Legion? Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. That's because Kaiser knows how to run a tight ship. Unlike the NCR. Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. <laughs> In that, we have some common ground. Be seeing you around. Mm hmm That's him! Lord Kaiser! I live to serve my liege! You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it? When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. I'm just following orders, Lord Kaiser. You instructed me to kill Benny and take back the platinum ship he stole from you? And when you give me an order, I promise you, it will be executed, along with everyone who gets in my way. I like the servile attitude. Keep it up. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. Ooh, I don't know who Mr. House is. What exactly do you need me to do? Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip you were carrying. Isn't that interesting? So you know what I think? Do tell. I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open, or drilled open, or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. It all makes sense to me. What do you want me to do when I'm inside? I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. Okay, we will do that. Oh, by the way, Lord Kaiser, I brought you Valius. He was part of a fire team you sent out a while back. Uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle between all of those guys. It ended with most of them dying, but Vilius is back. You happy about that? Nope, he wasn't happy about that. Just kind of hoping for a nice resolution to your story, Valius. A bit of redemption to your character arc. But y you never know. If you survive long enough, he might just change his mind. So hang in there. And try not to collapse of exhaustion or asphyxiation. Well, guess it's just you and me now, Hope. Which is too bad. I mean, I'm a little disappointed, aren't you? I, I kind of thought maybe there'd be more to that person's story. Where'd you get a Tommy gun? How did they let you have a Tommy gun? But more importantly, where did you pick it up? No, don't don't hide it. No, no, don't put that back in your pocket. I saw you have. All right, all right, never mind. I've got work to do. I'm not gonna concern myself with this. A ghoul in legionary armor. You're the first of your kind that I've seen, my friend. Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. I had assumed th that the Legion didn't work with ghouls, but perhaps that was hasty on my part. You know what they say about assuming it makes an ass out of you and me. Well, as long as you're not going to get in trouble for leaving your post, would you like to tag along with me? Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Charging a casino full of heavily armed gangsters was a great idea, boss. Definitely not the kind of thing that could have gotten us both killed. Yeah, it's a shame you weren't around for that. What's your opinion on Kaiser's Legion? I imagine it's a pretty unique take. I don't really have a problem with them. People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. 
But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders, you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws aren't nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. It is quite a testament to the effectiveness of Kaiser's society, isn't it? It's so much safer, and all you have to do is put up with not paying taxes. Oh god, what a tragedy. Enough friendly conversation, I've gotta go blow up a bunker. Anything you say, boss. Excellent. Let's get it done, folks. So, where do I put the chip? Over here? Indeed it is. I have put in the chip, and now we're going down into this mysterious bunker. Keep your eyes peeled. You'll never know what you're gonna find. Like this. <laughs> Are you surprised at Mr. House's appearance? Yes. Keep going. <laughs> Surely you know that I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. No? I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. No, I've never heard of you. And I don't feel like talking to you. Goodbye. Goodbye? Is that some kind of joke? You barely understand what I want you to accomplish down there. I know what I'm going to accomplish. Kaiser wants me to blow this place up, so it's going sky high. Of course Caesar wants it destroyed. He's afraid of what the bunker might hold, and rightly so. But you're not going to do that. You're going to do the smart thing, and work for me. I think the smartest thing that I could do is to not defy Lord Kaiser. I don't respond well to threats. Listen to me very carefully. I've waited too long for this moment for you to go fouling it up on a lark. Do as I say, and your rewards will be immense. Thwart me, and your punishment will become the purpose of my existence. Yeah, you wouldn't be the first mortal enemy I've made. You wouldn't even be the first one I've made today. Then there will be no safe haven for you. That's fine by me. I've got hope watching my back, as well as a ghoul named Raoul. Keep your eyes open. You don't know what we're going to see around here. Right and you got to get the drop on any robots that are hostile. Just like that. Take them out before they even notice you're here. There's a lot of robots down here. Ooh, it's a lot of robots. Mm -hmm. Oh, God! Kind of got the uh, startle on me. Hey, Kaiser, guess what's down in the bunker? I don't know. And I don't like not knowing. I found a bunch of robots! We could use them to attack the dam! You don't get it, do you? The weapons I wield are forged from blood, flesh, sinew, bone. Mortal stuff. Fragile, even. And yet my legion obeys me even unto death. Why? Because they live to serve the greater good, and they know of no alternatives. Machines. Technologies. What do they propose? The possibility of victory without sacrifice. No blood spilled, just rivets. That's not an idea to be put in circulation. If mankind's going to survive this moment in history, it needs warriors, not gadgets. Oh, okay. Man, you really hate robots, don't you? You're some kind of robophobe. Very well, I will resume blowing up the bunker. So all we have to do to set off the bunker is, uh, one of these. And we'll give it one of these. Whoa! All right. Yep, I think we've set off a butterfly effect. Time to vacate the premises. Oh! <laughs> robots are on fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of robots. A lot of scrap. Wowzers, wowzers! Hey, if you guys want to survive, you might want to run! There's a lot of robots down there! Well, my companions didn't make it out. Rest in peace! Hey, you guys made it! You're a little jumpy, but that's to be understood. Yep. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. 
Oh, those were his robots. I blew up his army. That's probably what he wanted to talk to me about. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. And indeed I shall. Away I go. Did blowing up that vault serve any purpose? Or do you just like explosions? Our next task is to assassinate Mr. House. Do you know him? Just how old do you think I am, boss? Because I can pretty much guarantee I'm older than that. Let me tell you a story from before the Great War. Everybody knew Robert House. He was a genius, a superstar. Founded Robco at 22. Dated Hollywood starlets, the works. They say he saved Las Vegas. I was in Mexico City when the bombs dropped. Even from there, we could see House's defensive rockets shooting down the incoming missiles. Everybody assumed he died in the war. Maybe he did. But his robots are still out there roaming the waste. And now, a Mr. House rules New Vegas. Not for long. I remember there were some weird stories about him, especially near the end. There was a tell-all in El Padiódico de las Arboridas by a starlet house dated. She said they never, uh... Now, don't make me spell it out, boss. You mean boning? Anyway, she said all he wanted to do was scan her brain and make her dress up in different outfits. <laughs> Weird. It was quite the scandal, at least in the Latin American tabloid journalism market. He sounds like a real freak. I think we'll be doing the world a favor by putting him down. Now, I have no problems doing this quest for Kaisar. In fact, I revel in the opportunity. Better than being crucified. But if he wanted me to kill House in the Strip, instead of saying, go to the Strip, kill Benny and come back, then go back and kill House, just go to the Strip and kill the two of them. But who am I to question Kaiser? I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he wanted to see I was worthy of the task of killing House by killing Benny. And if that's the case, then I appreciate the opportunity to do it. How's it going, Securitron? Move along. You know I blew up a million of your brothers. But you don't care. You're the special one that got to survive. The Lucky 38, home of the infamous Robert House. They say no one's been inside this building for decades. And I don't think he'd let us just walk into the front door. And even if we did, who knows what kind of security we could find. There might be a million Securitrons in there. Alternatively, there could be exactly eight Securitrons, two on the ground floor and six in the penthouse. Either way, I don't think we should take our chances. We'll just blow it up from the outside. Everybody stand back! Whoa! Yeah, okay. Don't think the game was expecting me to do that. Parts of the building are still here, but for the most part, the Lucky 38 has been destroyed, and along with it, Mr. House. That was a very easy mission. Don't tell Kaiser I said that. Don't worry, boss. I'm sure the sudden tension in the air is just a thunderstorm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things are getting a little heated around here. But now is the time to report back our success. With Mr. House out of the way, I can focus on smoothing out a few lingering complications elsewhere in the Mojave. First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base, a tribe so reclusive it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their settlement. I want you to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple. Target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it, and they can keep their freedom. If you find they aren't amenable to this offer, destroy them. Why wouldn't they be amenable to that offer? Everyone loves to live, and most people like to make things explode, so it's a win-win for them. Your first challenge will be to reach their settlement without getting blown up. After that, should be easy. Are there any other pressing tasks you need me to take care of in the interim? Yeah, Chief Hanlon, a nemesis of my legion. He's in the way. What effect will killing Chief Hanlon have on the NCR? It'll frighten them. If I can reach out and kill whomever I choose, then they know the only reason they're alive is I haven't tried yet. Then I will kill this profligate for you. How he dies, I leave up to you. My frumentarius, Cato Hostilius, will meet you there. While I'm out, do you have anything you need done? 
I suspect you'll be a valuable asset to the Legion. Assuming you're really on our side, of course. Ha! You wound me, sir! Why would you say such a thing? There's a gambler, Martina Grosbeck, who has a knack for learning other people's secrets and passing that information along. The Omertas, who run Gamora, have become suspicious of Martina's frequent visits to their casino. Soon they'll pay her a visit of their own. Why can't you take care of this yourself? I prefer to handle these matters through intermediaries, such as yourself. I will prove to be a valuable intermediary. Good. Martina frequents the Vault 21 gift shop on the Strip. Hurry along, and she still may be in one piece by the time you get there. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was that dire. Well, seeing as how that's a pressing concern, I'm not going to say it's more important, but it does sound perhaps more urgent. I will go protect this informant, and then do these two quests for you. Away I go! Of course this means I will be heading back to the Strip for a third time today. My legs are going to be so sore, it, it takes about 24 hours for all of the juices to settle in your legs. So, I'm gonna be good for the rest of the day, but tomorrow, ooh, I'm gonna be feeling this. Oh. <laughs> Careful, Raul! Might wanna take the stairs next time. Might be easier on your old knees. Sheesh. Excuse me. Get a move on, little doggy. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. <laughs> Not anymore. The Vault 21 Hotel. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Are you the owner of this little brothel? Ah, I'm sorry, I shouldn't assume it's a brothel just because it's in Vegas. Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Does it now? What does Mr. House have to do with this vault? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. Uh, Mr. House will not be giving you any more trouble. I took care of that. Do you mean that he's a goner? I can have my vault back? Yeah. That's just super. I thought we'd never see a different New Vegas. One that belongs to the people. Yes, you should enjoy your freedom while you can. Okay, see you soon. Looks like we arrived just in time. This ain't your business. Walk off and forget you saw anything. What's going on in here? Oh, murder business. Now fuck off or else. I heard this woman is under the protection of Kaisar's Legion. If you kill her, you might suffer the consequences. Fuck the Legion. The NCR's got troops between us and them. The NCR is overextended and can't protect anybody. And even Mr. House can't protect you now. You have no idea who you're messing with! Couple of low-life degenerates, I believe. Am I close? Ugh. That Ugh. one won't be breathing anytime soon. Ouch. Thank you. They were going to kill me. You're welcome. I might not be around to save you next time. There won't be a next time. I hope. Why were they out here to kill you? I may have overheard some things at Gamora that I passed on to the NCR. That's all. Honest. You work with the NCR? Because I was sent here to protect you by a legionary. What? I only talked to Captain Curtis over at McCarran. I would never work at Slavers. Honest. So you pass information along to a Captain Curtis and the NCR, who is definitely not associated with the Legion. Being a spy is dangerous work. It isn't normally. The NCR wanted me to just gamble and listen, nothing else. And then you got attacked by a couple of thugs. People talk out loud, and I just pay attention. The NCR likes to keep tabs on the activities of the families, and they pay me good caps to hang around the casinos and keep my ears open. Well, keep up the good work. Okay, yep, that's one down, and... Well, I guess technically three down, three dead men, but I meant, uh... Quests. That's one quest down and two to go. So uh, I, I can do math. That's Camp Golf, is it? The old hotel with a pipeline running by it. The informant is somewhere around here. So you're the big shot that Kaisar put in charge of this mission. I've heard about you. You've got quite the reputation already. Well, let's get down to business. Are you ready to do this? I was born ready to do this. So... Do you have a plan? Was kind of hoping you'd brief me on this. 
I could just put a bullet in his head. True, but I don't think it'll be that easy. Going in guns blazing with all the NCR troopers and rangers stationed will just get you killed. I do have something that you might find useful, if you're interested. Here you go. Put it to good use. Well, I'm not gonna look a gift bomb in the mouth. Don't get blown up. That's always good advice. So, we're just gonna go walk right into the NCR stronghold. And hopefully they don't have any qualms about that. You must be Chief Hanlon. You've come back to see the Chief. Nice of you to humor the radio tender. What can I do for you? One of the rangers was looking for you inside. All right. Yep, just go talk to that person. I'll tend to the radio in your absence. Plant the pressure-triggered bomb under the chair. And now we should probably get out of here. The deed is done, Kato! Good timing. Well, let's get down to business. I've got my binoculars. I'm ready to watch the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. oh, isn't it glorious? You there, stop. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> Degenerate. Keep moving. Kato's got this. Yeah, they're probably not going to be happy we took out their chief. Another kill to my name. Okay, they got some resistance for us. Take them down. Their guns are no match for our spears. Get them. Kill them, Hope. Butcher them till they die. Like fish in a barrel. Yeah. There you go. You got them. I think we're in the clear now. I don't see any more troops. See you around, Kato. You've done us a great service. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Yeah. Boss, just, yeah. <laughs> just because Chief Hanlon's arm landed two feet from your foot is no reason to get grossed out, Raul. I'm sure body parts fall off all the time around you. Oh boy, what a day. We met Kaisar, we met Mr. House, we killed Mr. House, we blew up his robots, we protected Martina Grosbeck, the Legion informant, and we killed Chief Hanlon at the NCR stronghold of Camp Golf. I would have been happy with just one of those things, but all of those things, and in one day? It's going to be tough to top that one. We still have the boomers to deal with before we report back, but I have a feeling it's going to take us some time. So we're just going to call it a day, and tomorrow, knock it out. Boiling water, boiling water, boiling water to make coffee. Play Sudoku, don't think about how Mike didn't come by to see me. Cause if I do, I'll have crushing anguish. I'll feel real sad all the time. Boiling water, boiling water, <laughs> boiling water to make coffee. Dick, Dick, where are you? I'm sad again. Just think about rabbits, Master. That always makes you happy. Oh, I do like bunnies. <laughs>